Hey everybody, this is uh, Jeffrey Jansen. I want to let you know that it is, uh, if you've had an address change or you're doing the voting, I've got a lot of people asking me where they need to go to vote. Uh, if you had like any type of address change, you need to come down to the uh, Illinois uh, Circuit Clerk, or County Clerk's Office and you need to register your new address and everything. But today is the last day to vote here uh, at the uh, County Clerk's Office. Okay, early voting stops today. So if you get down here today, you can go vote. It does say vote here. But if you've had any type of change, you need to call. I posted on my Facebook page the number of, I don't care if you're Republican, I don't care if you're Democrat, I don't care which side of the thing, you need to vote. And in order to do that, I'm letting you know right now that when I post these up, I'm gonna go home and scan these in, you need to then need to know your district. The problem is if you had any kind of changes, you need to call the courthouse. And if you look at my page, the phone number's on the page. By all the different districts, there's different districts you need to go to, okay? It's important you vote. I don't care if Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. But if you're coming down today, today's the last day to vote. If you come down tomorrow, you can register here. You cannot vote here. They're going to send you out to your district, to your polling place, okay? And so my thing to you is, if you want to vote, okay, you need to come down here. It started on September 22nd, but today's the last day. Today is the last day to vote here. So let me say this. There's a difference between registering and voting. If you come and register and don't vote, your vote, it's not a vote. You need to register here and vote here if you never registered before. My suggestion, we come down to the circuit clerk, uh, county clerk's office here in Quincy, Illinois, and vote. Doesn't matter what your race is. Doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter who you're going for, but come down here and vote, okay? I'm staying neutral right now so everybody knows where to vote. And then uh, we're going to post online. You can go to the Adams County Clerk's Office website, and you can actually see the different locations to vote then, okay? So my thing about it is come down. If you care about your country, you care about your city, county, stuff like that, make sure to come down and vote. And, you know, like I said, I'm staying neutral on this one. I already voted early. I voted actually on September 27th. But, uh, like I said, I know that in Adams County, there's a lot of districts, and it gets confusing. But right now, if you want to go ahead and get out the vote today, come on down here to the Adams County uh, Courthouse, which is where the clerk's office, the county clerk is. It's on the uh, west side of the building. And make sure to come out and vote, okay? So, again... Come out and vote. It doesn't matter what your party affiliation is or even if you're an independent. Just come out and vote. But make sure to get down here and vote today. And if you need to change anything, they can do it here. However, tomorrow if you come to the county clerk's office, you can only register to vote. Registering to vote does not mean you voted. That only means you can register to vote. And then they're going to send you out to your district. Okay? So make sure to get this out there, everybody. I'm going to go home and scan all these districts in so you know where to vote tomorrow. But if you had any kind of changes in your address or anything else, make sure to call down to the county clerk's office and ask them if you have to come and register. The DMV also registers, but not everybody got registered at the DMV if you had any type of changes, okay? So, again, make sure you come and vote. Doesn't matter if you're independent, Tea Party, Republican, Democrat, does not matter. But get out the vote. Come on down here to the... Um, uh, county clerk's office they are voting today you can vote today down here all wards all districts can vote at the clerk's office today tomorrow it goes out to the districts okay i guarantee you that the county clerk and everybody else are really busy right now so it doesn't matter what party you're part of just come down and vote today today is the last day to vote at the county clerk's office everything will be going out to the districts then tomorrow okay so tomorrow districts today come to the clerk's office you can still vote down here at the county clerk's office in quincy illinois then tomorrow it'll all go to the districts which means it's the last day you can vote at the county clerk's office it doesn't matter what your party is come on down and vote i'm staying neutral remember democrat republican independent tea party doesn't matter just come on down here and vote they're going to be open i forgot to ask what time they're open till but they're open pretty much all night all day and come on down here and vote. If you don't get down here today and you come down tomorrow to vote, you cannot vote here tomorrow. You can register to vote here tomorrow, but you cannot vote here tomorrow to go all to the districts tomorrow. So do your civic duty. Come and vote. That is your voice. Don't complain if you don't vote, but come out to the county clerk's office in Adams County 
and make sure when you come out here to vote, the really the ladies in here are really, really nice. They're polite. They're kind. They're going to give you a private ballot. You go vote, and they're going to take good care of you, okay? So if you got to change your addresses or anything like that, they can do that here at the county clerk's office. It only takes about a minute, two minutes to vote. So come on out here in Adams County.